Hello everyone, welcome to my top 5 7 seat family MPV stuff for those on a budget and so in the UK under 6 grand what can we get that is reliable and practical at the same time and at number 5 we have the car synonymous with Addison Lee, yes the Ford Galaxy also known as the VW Sharan and the Seat Alhambra, this is the one that has loads of space, proper 7 seater where all, with all the 7 seats up you still got boot space the automatic power shift is not reliable but it's okay manual bang on so look out for any electrical glitches and watch out for the power shift that will need replacing at some point so budget for about a couple of grand otherwise these are fantastic at number four we have the peugeot 5008 the best one in this is the 1.6 diesel the petrols are rubbish but they're very few and far between the 2 litre diesel is okay but a bit expensive the manuals fantastic the automatic can be a bit un unreliable and they can suffer from electrical glitches so full service history is key on this one but you've got long service intervals and cheap maintenance so happy days that's why it's on at number four in at number three it's the legend that is the Vauxhall Safira a bit of a pioneering car there with such a small package and footprint it packs a punch so spacious inside look at the third rows an adult can sit in there I've sat in there and I've driven all the way to Spain from England in that it's fantastic practicality for the size the only uh, downside is the middle seats are a bench seat so they all move in unison not individual otherwise really cheap loads around really reliable be picky get ones with full service history and they'll serve you well manual is the one to go for with the 1.8 engine being the one please 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 avoid the easy tronic gearbox like the plague if you need an auto you just have to go for the 2.2 petrol automatic it's a bit thirsty but it's much better than the easy tronic uh, otherwise the only other option is to get the new gen and it will go over the six grand budget unfortunately in at number two it is the sophisticated vw toran it comes in at number two because it is does cost a pretty penny but then that's reflected in better residuals when you come to sell it on it's a lovely sophisticated car with a really grown up ride best in the class really and nice comfortable seats offering great practicality and all of them are individually moving so that's even better the 1.6 diesel engine mated to a manual is the best combo to get if you can get the dsg that's fantastic but do bear in mind the dsg can have a failure in the mechatronic unit that's a 1500 pound bill but that's more or less the only thing that goes wrong these are robust things try and avoid the 1.4 tsi but if you're in london you're going to need one for you less compliance and unfortunately because of the prices you're going to have to stump up for the previous model or go in for one of these imported cars that are widely available that's the only reason this gets the number two. Can I ask a favour? Please can you subscribe, like, turn on your notifications and share this video. The countdown begins to the number one seven seat cheap family MPV. It is the Toyota Verso, namely this shape one that came out from 2009 onwards. Get the 1.8 automatic petrol and you're laughing they're super economical super reliable relatively low tax the only downside to uh, the verso is that with the third row of seats they can be a bit cramped but it's typical of the class and also the styling isn't that great really it's a bit conservative but if you want something cheap reliable to run and dependable for your family and you're on a budget then this is the one to go for but please 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 avoid the mmt models that were in the previous generation please avoid them like the plague but if you get the manual version of any verso of any generation mated to the 1.8 petrol it is fantastic it's chain driven economical and it won't let you down so that's why it's my number one well done again toyota